Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial on how to reduce your build size. So today we'll be seeing how you can reduce your build size which is around 200 or 300 MB to something like 20 or 30 MB. Before we go into how to reduce the build size, we need to identify the components that are contributing to the build size. So I have a project here. If I go ahead and say build settings, build, and let me select a folder. So it takes some time and it builds the whole project for me. And it will save all the build files onto my build folder. So once that is done, uh, I don't want to launch the game. I'll just go to the console window and click on the three dots here. Select open editor log. Now you need to search for build report. So unless you build your game, you will not be able to see the build report. And if you already built your game three, four times, then go to the build report that is on the end of this log. So as you can see, 54% uh, of my build size is textures. And since I've already optimized my textures, it is only 2.6 MB. In your case, it might be something as large as 200 MB or 500 MB. So today we'll be seeing how to optimize textures. And the second most important aspects of most of the builds are is the sound files so as you can see the sound file is taking 1.4 mb here and is almost 30 percent of the build size so we cannot do much about these audio files but we can reduce the texture size by a large amount so to demonstrate this let me just create a small circle in paint so let's go ahead and let's draw a circle Okay, and let's fill this with maybe this color and let's save it. I'm going to call it circle. Then I'm going to open the same circle in gym and I'll remove the background. So this, let's select white color and let's invert it and cut off the circle, paste it again to a new layer and delete this layer. So now we have a circle with a transparent background. So let's export it to our Unity folder. So the Unity project is this one. And the assets. So let me export it. Okay. So now in my project folder, I have the circle. I'll set it to 2D anyway. So now I have a circle with a transparent background. But as you can see, it is 1.4 MB in size. It's actually very large for a simple circle with a transparent background. So we can have something like 100 KB max for an image like this. So let's see how to optimize this in Unity. Now the first important step is to select the correct size. So in our case, this image is just 600 cross 600 and I'm having a max size of 2048. So let's reduce it to 1024 and hit apply. The size of the image didn't change because it's already smaller than the max size that we have selected. The next option is to select a compression algorithm. And since it's already set to automatic and normal quality is selected, but you can see that Unity gives you an error that images which are not a multiple of four cannot be compressed. So what you need to do is to make this size a multiple of four. So let's go back to gym and let's go to image canvas size and set this to 600 cross 600. Remember not to scale the image because if you scale the image then the image will get distorted. Only change the canvas size so that way only the alpha layer around the image will be changed. So let's resize and then let's go to export and replace the image in our Unity project. Okay, so it's re imported. And after that, you can see that the size of the same image has now changed to 351 KB. So it has changed from 1.4 MB to 351 KB with a small change in the 
dimensions of the image. So if you have an image that is a multiple of four, then Unity will compress it better. Now we can go ahead and make one more change. As you can see, uh, near the dimension of the image, uh, text NPOT is written. That means this is not a power of two image. Uh, what I mean by power of two is two, four, eight, all the powers of twos, like two power two, two power four, two power five. If, if the image is in the dimension of power of two, then it will be compressed even better. So for example, 512 is a power of two and we still have some space left here. So let's go back to gym and resize our canvas to 512 cross 512. So that way the image will be a power of two. You can have different width and height, but both width and height should be a power of two. For example, you can have 1024 cross 512 if you're having a landscape image. So that also will be considered as power of two. So I have Set the width and height to 512 and let's resize. Okay, now let's export it again and replace the image. Okay, so you can see that Unity has further reduced the size to 256 KB. So our image, which was 1.4 MB, uh, by resizing it to power of 2, has come down to 256 KB which is like a reduction of uh, almost 80%. Now, when you have a power of two image or an image which is a multiple of four, you can also use crunch compression. Crunch compression adds an extra layer of compression over the already existing one. And, but it is also a lossy compression. That means the image will be distorted a little. So unless you're making a very high quality game, you can, very well use the crunch compression and you won't notice the difference. So let's check crunch compression and set the compression quality at 90 maybe so that it's not distorted much and hit on apply. So you can see that the image has now reduced to 6.8 KB. So the image which was 1.4 MB is now 6.8 KB. That's, that's almost 99.99% reduction in image size. You can do this for all the images. For example, I have a cat sprite here. And this cat sprite is basically not a power of two image. So it's 2048 cross 1314. So 2048 is a power of two, but 1314 is not a power of two. So I can actually increase the size of 1314 to a power of two, which is 1024. But 1024 will cut my image. So I'll increase it to a bigger number say 2048. So let's go to gym. So I'll set the canvas size to 8192 cross 4096 and I'll resize it and then I'll export the image back to Unity. Okay, so now the image is a power of two. So we'll see how much Unity reduces the size. Okay, so it has come down from 10 MB to just 2 MB. Now if we enable the crunch compression, and set the quality at 90 and hit apply. So you can say it's just 63 KB. Even though I have increased the size of the image, since um, since it's a power of two, I'm able to compress it better. So if you do this to all your images, then a game which is around 220 MB or 300 MB can come down to like 20, 30 MB very easily. The next thing is your audio files. So if you go ahead and select your audio file, you should see a quality setting here. Generally, this quality setting is set at 100. And you'll be able to see that if the quality setting is set at 100, the original size and the imported size will vary. That means the original audio size is only 1.4 MB. If the quality setting is set at 100, the imported size is 2.8 MB. Now, I have not felt any difference having the quality setting at one. The audio file plays very well. So you can just set it to one for most of your audio files. For some audio, which is very important for your game, you can keep the quality setting as high as you want. But for most of the files, you should be able to reduce it. You can try the audio, play it, and see if the quality setting is affecting your audio in your game. So set it at one and click on apply. 
there should be at least 50% reduction in size. So you can see it will come back to 1.4 MB. So just reducing the text size and the audio size itself will create a huge impact on your game's build size. Try them out in your game and let us know in the comments how much size were you were able to save. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.